Hey guys, so today we're gonna cover the 3.4 update, my overall thoughts of this update. Uh, I've not read this yet, so this is kind of my live reaction. So let's give in, let's dive right into it. So at the beginning, we're gonna have a new sponsor. Cool. And then also with this new sponsor, it looks like we got some new skins coming out. Love it. And then looks like they made some performance changes with some shorter times. Now I believe that might only apply to PC but uh, we'll see. And then let's dive into some balance changes. The breach charges looks like made some decrease the minimum damage applied, increase some damage radius. Not, not a huge change, but it's small enough that I think it'll be good. And then set damage fall off scale, linear from the max damage radius to the outer radius. I don't, I assume this already had some fall off, but maybe it didn't have any previously. So we'll see, looks like some AOE stuff uh for it and then they also looks like they did the same thing with the c4 ever since pretty much season one they've been really kind of smacking these c4 and breach charges because people were just applying them to the red canisters and just instant killing people which i, I thought was pretty great but they, they they seem to have nerfed that quite a bit uh in these later seasons but maybe they'll bring it back i think it'd be kind of fun and then let's see here explosive mines Looks like a lot of the explosive stuff, they are changing a lot of the radius damage for this. It looks like they're just kind of doing a lot of rework for explosives overall. Cool. And then let's see here, bank it, remove team wipes. Interesting. I'm not sh sure what that means. And then, wow, that's, uh, that's a pretty big decrease. And then change to a different contestant while dead and bank it. Wow. Okay. Usually, I think the only game mode that really allows you to switch was uh like the payload mode so i that's kind of interesting uh do they okay so it's just bank it interesting hmm okay and the terminal attack did some other things with that and rank terminal attack and then see so your see okay this is I, I just reviewed this weapon so it looks like they made some changes decrease the minimum damage outer edge cool i'm happy they increased the radius this was one, one of my my issues with it and then the damage fall off scale linear Okay, so uh, I'll be kind of curious to see what I, I would have liked to see the radius a little bit bigger. I didn't re I didn't realize how small 2.5 was, but maybe that just like that little extra 0.4 will will give it what it needs. And then let's see here the MG MGL 32 that is also the heavies grenade launcher. It also oh so it actually has a little bit wider damage profile and then the RPG as well. It looks like they just increased the radius for all explosives pretty much and then added some linear fall off. Cause like I said, with the grenade launcher, when I reviewed the CL 40, it didn't feel like there was like any damage drop off. It, it, it literally seemed like the only way you were shooting them, but not shooting them was like at their feet. It, and so maybe they had some issues with their explosives and they just had to do a complete rework of it. Kind of seems like that's kind of what they did. So, and then we got some content and bug fixes. It's just some animation stuff, nothing major. Same thing for the character stuff, gadgets. Let's see here, fix an issue where the thermal work could become stuck in midair. Neato burrito. And then bank it, possible not to be able to respond. Practice range, add two season trophies for ranked terminal attack and the event season. Interesting. I don't know why that has to do with the practice range. Ranked terminal attacked see here full rank score gain would sometimes not be given okay that support for turkish and polish languages love that more people can play and then some basic map ch changes to keto and then matchmaking fixed an issue where matchmaking region would be wrongly set for console players some stability changes i've had some issues with their servers so hopefully you know maybe some more tweaks will will be better for stability Basic UI stuff, eh. and then some weapons here. Fix a bug that could cause players to experience different recoil DK rates. And then spear, reduce the impulse applied to the secondary attack to prevent some objects from being pushed a long way by the attack. Aw, this was so good. Like, I, I hopefully this didn't nerf the the crap out of the spear from launching the, the objective. Like, that was so good. So that was the overall update. Let's dive into the video.
So there's the update. And let me know, guys, what you guys think of this update. I think it's moving in the right direction. Like I said, I had some issues with the explosives. They kind of addressed that in this one. So that's that's really cool like that. So we are covering the 3.5 update. This is a pretty light update, but it is pretty cool. The skins and I mean, the skins are just out of this world. I mean, they're they are just doing this game right for the skins and I'm here for it. I am here for it. So this update, we'll dive into it a little bit. Like I said, not much, some build performance. Uh, they didn't do any like gun balancing, but uh, let's watch the video. So like I said, uh, some cool skins. Um, I'm here for it. And you know what? I'll catch you guys at the finals. Let me know what you guys think of the skin. And you guys have a good one. Sponsors, thanks for tuning in.